Normally, people associate the words flight assist off with that helpless feeling of spinning in uncontrolled circles. Due to this, FA off is often considered outside the realm of possibility by many pilots. However, this simply isn't true. We all started somewhere, and every pilot has had to overcome the same hurdles. It's during the early stages that the greatest difficulties lie, and that's why the following video exists. This video is one of a few episodes in the Combat Guide series that will help pilots learn FA off, from basic ship control to advanced combat maneuvers. Let's get on with it. First of all, we need to get you out of whatever uber modified space fortress you're currently flying and find you one of the best training ships, the Viper Mark III. This thing is perfect for what you need right now. It's easy to fly, cheap and has great lateral thrusters. Head on over to outfitting so we can set this thing up. What you fit is largely up to you. But there are a few specifics you should follow. Firstly, make the power distributor utterly useless by buying a tiny one to stop yourself from boosting. Fit some good shields. Buy weaves are best to save your hull from nasty crashes into rocks. And bring some lasers, underpowered so you can shoot them for longer and with less pit management. Small pulses are perfect. Now I mentioned rocks for a reason. Because our next stop is the nearest asteroid belt. This provides a nice training ground. It's easier to get your bearings when you have a few reference points. Before we start, make sure your ship is completely immobile. No rotation or movement at all. Now, when you're ready, Turn flight assist off. No drama, right? Okay, perfect. Now slowly pitch upwards. Don't do anything else. There you go. This is fine. Now gently slow the turn down and stop the rotation. It's gonna take a few attempts before you can achieve stable rotation. So don't worry if it's hard at first. Try pitching downwards as well, doing the same routine movement. Once you start getting comfortable with this, go ahead and experiment with faster rates of pitch or transitioning from upwards to downwards pitch and vice versa. Now it's time to apply the same strategy to roll and yaw. As before, start the slow rotation and counter the force to halt it. If you're using a keyboard and mouse, it's likely one of these axes will be bound to keys. In this case, gradual control can be achieved via short inputs, basically tapping. Once you've gotten all the rotation covered, try and combine them into movement. This is when your lasers come in. Maneuver around using pitch, roll and yaw and aim at different asteroids around you. Take some shots at one before moving on. This will refine your skills, do this over and over again until you feel comfortable. Now that we've gone over aiming and stability, we can move on to movement. This is where lateral thrusters come in. Use your main thruster and practice moving forward. With flight assist off, the thrusters apply full power upon a keystroke. So all acceleration has to be done manually. Once you've achieved a stable speed, counteract this force with opposite thrust to slow down back to zero. 
Attempt the same thing with your horizontal and vertical thrusters. Repeat these until you get it right. Practice setting specific speeds as well. Also, try combining different thruster inputs and then counteract them to stop your movement. After you're comfortable with this, put it into practical use. Apply forward thrust and use your laterals to maneuver around incoming asteroids. Start out slow, then increase the rate when you want to challenge yourself. You can even start aiming for small gaps and tighter fits once you get more confident. You can refine your skill this way. Finally, it's time to assemble all the skills you've learned. Using both rotation controls and lateral controls, maneuver your ship through the asteroid field. Keep in mind that being able to counteract momentum and changing direction is what you should be trying to achieve early on, as these form the foundation of flying with FA off. Alright, so that's the end of the first episode about flight assist in the combat guide series. The following episodes will focus on developing further skills and will delve into combat and advanced combat maneuvers. So if you'd like to see more, stay tuned. As always, any feedback is greatly appreciated and you can leave that below. Until next time.